Oh my God, y'all will not believe. Okay, so God has me reading, well, Jesus actually has me reading Esther right now because he just wants to speak to me personally from, you know, husband to wife or whatever. And I was kind of writing my notes down and stuff and I was kind of prepping for y'all because I was like, oh my God, I got some gems from this and I want to do a video, right? So this is just really quick. I'm, a, um, I'm a, He wants me to read to chapter eight. So once I get to chapter eight, I'm going to go ahead and start recording, but... Yeah, so one of the gems that I wrote down, I'm not going to tell y'all what it was, but, well, okay, I will tell you what it was. <laughs> it was how Esther was prophetically walking out Hebrews chapter 4, 16, when it came to her going to the king. We're going to explain all that when, uh, when I start recording the, the actual message and the notes and stuff. But, yeah, so I was like, I was jotting it down on my paper or whatever, and I forgot what the scripture was where it says that we should come boldly to the throne of God, you know, to receive help in a time of need and mercy and whatnot. So I went to my Bible, uh, my Bible app, and I was about to look up, like, uh, what chapter in Hebrews it was. I knew it was Hebrews chapter 4, I just didn't know the verse. And shut your mouth, child. Guess what verse, what scripture just already popped up <laughs> on my Bible app. You know how they have the verse of the day? It was Hebrews 4.16. I was like, oh my God, you are so crazy. I just love when he does like sovereign, like synchronicity stuff like that. I love how like you probably think it was just you that wanted to read this. Although I just said it was Jesus that wanted me to read it. But it's just the point that... All this stuff is already, you know, little things that we do every single day is already just kind of sovereignly set up by God. And he knew that I would be here at this time reading this. And then I look for this. <laughs> and it's, I, I don't even really get on my Bible app like that. But that was the verse of the day. The scripture that I was just about to look up. Like, that's crazy. But I'm so excited to share these gems with y'all too. And I just ordered some, um, some Bible high gliders. They're basically like highlighters uh, made for Bible specifically. It's kind of like a wax consistency, kind of like the Sharpie gel highlighters. But I ordered those, so I'm going to do a review on those for y'all. So just in case y'all like highlighting stuff like I do, as you can see. Well, maybe not this page, maybe the other page. <laughs> but I highlight, and some of my highlighters that I have, like they bleed and stuff. So once that comes in, I'm going to do a um, Bible highlighter highlight and review on the Bible. So y'all can go purchase it if you want to. And I'm going to... Do some reviews on the highlighters that I do have in different pages where I highlighted and um, how that bleeds and how that looks so you know what not to get or which ones are okay to get. But that's it. I got to go.